I, you know, I just don't understand how men communicate with each other. It's, it's, it's the meaning is between the lines. You yeah. Know? Women lay it all out there on the line. Women you know? on the lines, men between the lines. That's right. But, you know, because I have noticed, I have noticed that sometimes, even with me, you guys do some code. Maybe when you get a little uncomfortable. No, just to protect you in a certain way. Also from the... From what? Because you're a more genteel creature than we are. You It's know? true. How do you know that? The way you throw. <laughs> What are you working on there, Ben? Just uh, taking notes, you know, jotting down some thoughts. Like a journal or a... Uh... I'm working on uh, a book. Are you great? Yeah. That's great, Ben. What kind of book? Well, it's a book about me. Who better? Well, you write what you know, Dad. You don't write yeah. what you don't know. That's what, I, that's Otherwise, what I've been telling you, is you are the world's leading expert on Ben. You know? With a little help from you. I'm in second place, believe me. But, Ben, don't, don't you think that before you write your memoirs, you should go out and... Have a couple more of those things that, that are the... Live a little, is what I'm saying. Well, look, know? I've reached that point in my life, Dad, where I have to start, you know, committing things to permanence. Yeah. Or else when I'm gone, who will be able to know what I was like? Well, I can tell him. You... <laughs> when am I going? I packed a bag, Ben. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I gotta change the ending now. Well, I, I, I wrote the first part. Yeah. I, I wrote out my first thought. Mm-hmm. You want to hear it? Sure, go ahead. No, you don't want to hear it. No, I would like to hear it. All right. In loving memory of my father, Jonathan Katz. Ben, do you do you know something I don't know? Because, you know, that's usually reserved for yeah. after somebody has... Yeah, I know, Dad, but, you know, this yeah. book is going to take a while to write, and, you know, by the by the time I'm done... Yeah. You know I'm going to love you. Come here, you. <laughs> Dad, not yet. I said by the time I'm done. Hey, Laura, how's it, how's it going? You remember me, Louie? Yeah. Could you take a seat, please? You know what I've always wanted to do? Change my name to something really awful, like Farty McCrab Lice, and then go and find the cure for a disease, because then they'll have to name a street after me, Farty McCrab Lice Street, and the president will have to say, God bless Farty McCrab Lice. I've been having some financial troubles. I called my bank and checked my balance, mm -hmm. and it turns out I have negative $4,500 in the bank. Mm. But I, I like calling my bank because I can transfer my money over the phone. You know, the lady goes, please enter the amount you'd like to transfer. So I just put in a one and a lot of zeros. Because then you actually get to hear the lady say, your transfer of $10 million has been denied. Because of your negative checking balance of $4,500. Please try again. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Your request for a transfer of 15 cents has been denied. You know what I realized today? I got really depressed because I, yeah. I realized I forgot to start playing saxophone when I was 12 years old. Mm. It just hit me today. Damn, I should have done that because now you know i can't i can't get any work as a sax player right because i don't know how to play because i've never even tried well i uh, it bothers me it bothers me when people complain about flying you know people are like oh the, the seat was too small and the lady was mean to me when did we become so jaded to the fact that it's a miracle you're flying i think the airlines all they should have to say in their commercial is we can fly But they didn't like this. It would smell weird. They don't like. Uh, uh, Laura, am, am I late? Well, you're about 20 minutes late. Okay, that's not so bad. You see, I went to eat at the yogurt place, and I hate making left turns. You know, you stick out in traffic. So instead of making one left turn, I made like a lot of right turns. Fred, what are you talking about? You don't have a car. I, I didn't mean with a car. Oh, with a car, that would be really bad, really stressful. Wow. 
This is great. And a second waiting room. This looks much more comfortable. No, Ron, this is not a waiting room. This is this is my office. Wow, they said you had a different approach. This is great. There's no special chair and no, no. sharp poking things. And there's no <laughs> thing, you know, that thing. Uh, wow, I feel very relaxed. This is very nice. I'm very nervous around your, you, the type of doctor that you are. Well, I, I think you're going to get over that in a while, Ron. It just takes a little getting used to. Oh, really? Well, uh, where do we start? Why don't you just tell me a little something about what brought you here today? Well, I've been feeling a little uh, pain on the on the right side. What What do you mean, Ron? What What kind of pain? The last time I came, they pulled these two right here. Yeah. Yeah. What What are you talking about, Ron? When you say they pulled these two, are you talking about teeth? Wow, this is a very interesting approach. Uh, yeah. Well, it is a teeth that were pulled. Yeah. This is great. I mean, I'm starting to feel better already. Wait, you don't? Uh, do you think I'm a dentist? Uh, no, I don't. I think that's why this is working so well. Dr. Katz's office. Hi, Laura. It's Ben. Hi, Ben. How you doing? Fine. I know you're going to start asking me, like, hey, Ben, what's, what's going on? Why are you so down? Why are you so depressed? No, I wasn't going but, to. But, uh, I'll tell you why. I, I'm writing now. And, uh, when I write, you know, I dredge up a lot of memories that uh, aren't so pleasant. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you something, Laura, that's not easy. Hey, Ben, isn't this cutting into your writing time? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on a writing break. Really? Every writer takes a break. Oh, you know? What time did you say you started? I pull up to the notebook about 11 a.m. It's uh, 11.05. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes it doesn't come as easy. I mean, I'm not ad-libbing here. I'm a writer. I need to think first. It just doesn't pop into my head. I need to sit down, fall asleep, and get back up, and then... You know, snack. And then write. I gotta get back. You're obviously in a lot of pain. It's not the tooth. It's, it's something else that's going on. So you're not a dentist anymore? No. No, I've never been a dentist. Oh, I was a good patient. You were very good. You were very good. You made a commitment to the role. But now that's over. And now we're just two guys in my office. I'm Dr. Katz, and you are Ron Lynch. Okay. What else do you know about me? I know a lot about you. I know that you're single. You've been married once. Wow. I don't think that's me. I'm sorry. That's a good role, though. I'd like to play. Can I play that role? No. But uh, i got to be honest with you. I don't want to give away the middle. Mm-hmm. But you're in there. Really? Yeah. I mean, I haven't written it yet, but uh, I see you uh, somewhere in the middle. Well, at least it'll be short. And there might be some things you read in the book that you'll be disturbed with. Like that, the part about our long-standing relationship. Oh. And the breakup in Paris. Remember that? We lived in, in Paris. Lived in the park, remember? In the Jardin. In the what? We lived in the Jardin de Luxembourg in Paris, remember? Remember I turned to you on the park bench and I said, life is not sweet. We were poor, but we were happy. Hmm. Why'd you leave me? You know, let's let's try and go back, if we could, to your childhood, to some of those early memories. All right. You and your mom and your dad, and you have an older brother. And right. Was his name, I want to say, Alan. No, his name was Alan. And, uh... Ron, I know this is hard to talk about, but would, would he pick on you? Would he bully you? Yeah, as far as, uh, competition goes, we, no. uh... Oh. Uh, just... What um, is that? Sorry. Uh, just... Hello? What? Uh, yeah, I can't... Please don't. Uh-huh. Right. Okay, well, I'll... You I should. don't know if they have any, but I'll try to get... Ron, you don't... I'm at the doctor's, uh... Yeah. Can you put that thing away, please? No, he's at the, it's a dentist. Can yeah. you just hang up? Look, I gotta go. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, bye. What, why are you pretending that's a real phone? It is a real phone. But the cord is coming out of your pants pocket in the back. This is not a real leg. Can we stop playing games for a second and try to focus. I'm here to be helped. I'm here to be helped. I'm here to be helped. Oh, geez. Can you, can, do you need to? Yeah, you just, you just call me. He knows you're not a real person now. Right. I know it's a fake phone. Okay, I got it. Okay. I might, okay, bye. I'm sorry. You know, th this is your real money that you're going to have to pay me whether or not you take advantage of my help or not, you know? Well... So do you want to sit here and play games, or do you want to talk about what it is that, that's troubling you? A little of each would be good.
You want to hear this first sentence? It might blow you away. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yep. The Russian river raged, ripping a serpentine path through the ragged ridge. I love it. I'm not done yet. Okay. Hi, I'm Ben Katz. Is that a good start? I love the part about the river. The Russian river. Yeah, I I think that the hi I'm Ben Katz is too abrupt. You think so? I don't want to talk about the Russian river for three hundred pages. Well, actually, what I've done separate the the memoirs right now. I've outlined it,、mm-hmm. and I've separated it into three parts. Right. The early years.、Mm-hmm. Uh, the second part would be the camp years. Yeah. Those three years in summer camp, I learned a、right. lot. Right. There's a lot you don't know about. Yes, I played softball. Doesn't mean I'm gay. And the third part, I'm calling the、uh, I'm calling that the pensive years. That's a, that's the last six years of my life.、Mm-hmm. I, I call the pensive years. You know why? Why is that? I don't know. I don't think of them as as pensive years. They used to be pensive years. Now they're your, they're your ex pensive years. Do you see what I'm saying? Ex pensive. Yeah, I get it. Formerly your pensive years. For me, they were the expensive years. I get it and get it. Expensive. Laura,、um, is everything okay for my appointment? Well, besides the fact that you missed it, yeah. Did you ever think maybe you and Doctor Katz, because I'm late all the time, buy me something funny like a sign that says even a broken clock is correct two times a day? Do, do, do you and Doctor Katz ever say, "Let's get something funny for Fred, like a beeper or a funny like ribbon to remind him"? Did you ever like? Do you, how come you never bought me anything? I don't know, Fred. How about if I gave you the money? I don't know, how Fred. How about how about if I bought it myself, gave it to you? Could you give it to me? I don't know, Fred. Like this. Woohoo! My God, this is great. Yeah, I was in jail because well, it started because I、uh, I borrowed a friend's car and the horn was broken. Right. And it wasn't that the horn didn't honk. The problem was was that it would honk whenever. It was a nightmare. I'm just driving around beep 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 beep, and I'm honking at everybody for no reason. And you can't even really apologize because、mm-hmm. what is you know beep? Sorry, I know beep beep. I know it's weird. I don't know. And finally, I decided after a while of this, I'm not going to be a victim. I'm not going to just sit here, and I'm going to at least be part of it. You know, I want to try to enjoy it.、Mm-hmm. So one time, I'm sitting at a red light behind this guy,、right. and、uh, nothing's going on. And out of nowhere, the horn goes beep, 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 beep. The guy looks back at me. I go, "What are you doing? That's a red light. Let's go. What are you, an idiot?" And I'm just driving down a quiet street. Beep, beep. Hey, lady, walking. You suck. Doctor Katz's office. I am livid. Hi, Ben. I'll tell you something. What does it take to get a book published in this country? I think you have to write one. Well, yeah, but I'm doing that. Yeah. I just don't want to keep going unless I get some sort of deal. Mm-hmm. You know. Right. This is the way it goes in 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 publishing, as far as I know. You you come up with an idea and you get an advance. You know, like fifty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars. Then you continue to write. Makes sense. I just want the advance part. Hmm. I, mean, I can't work under these conditions. I mean, they just squish the artist. Hmm. They push me right into a corner and they say, "Right," and I say, "No, no, thank you." So anyway, I ended up in jail because、uh, the police don't like when you honk at them for no reason. Right. I like doing that. I, whenever I see a cop, I like to drive behind policemen and just start following them around the city. And just once in a while, just honk at them and go beep, 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 beep. And when he looked back, he just waved, go, "Hey, hey, the cops! Yeah, woo! Beep, beep, yeah! I love the cops! Beep, ah, woo! Piggy!" Listen, I gotta get back to the book. Oh, okay. I'm in the middle of a, a extremely emotional part. Really? What what part is、a、that? The title. Hmm. There's a word in there though that makes me cry every time I write it. Anyway,、uh, so actually, I, the truth is, I was in jail because I was speeding and、uh, I got pulled over, and I don't have a driver's license. Well, Louis,、uh, I never got one. Yeah. Well, I went to the place to get, you know, and there was like a line, and you know. You need you need a driver's license. I I kind of like the fact that every time I get pulled over, even if it's for a broken headlight, I go. I they have to take me to jail, so I don't have to kiss the guy's ass. I have to. I get to say anything I want, really, because I mean, what's he going to take me to extra jail? Right. You know, the guy's like, do you know how fast you're going? I don't know, like a million. I don't. I hey, fat pig. So I had to go to jail, 
and uh, I had to be strip searched. I'd never been through that before. So I was staying naked in front of this policeman. Right. And uh, he says, lift. And I was like, lift what? And he says, lift your testicles. And I was like, well, can I use my hands? Or do you just want me to go, rise, testicles! Rise on my command! So you moved away from the idea of that you've given up on the idea of the perfect opening line. Yeah, well, you know what? Because it's really not. I don't think about the opening line. No, anymore. What do you think it is about? It's about the whole book. Right. So you know what I have now? What's that? Bigger problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first it was just one line. Now it's a whole damn book. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I'll still give it a try though, because you know what? I love the lifestyle. Oh, the lifestyle is the best. Yeah, it's you, just the writing boss. that sucks. Yeah, well, I realize now it's 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 the title that really counts. You know? Well, I wouldn't say that, Ben. Well, it is, Dad. I mean, let's face it. I mean, you can tell if the book is is going to be good just by looking at the cover. How about you tell me the an idea for a title? I'll rate it on a sliding scale, one to ten. Okay. Okay. Right. Ten being the best. Ten being the best. One being the worst. All righty. Five being right in the middle. Right smack in the middle. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Are you ready to catch it? Yep. How about this? What did we do to make mommy go so far away? That's a that's a, a two. Okay. Uh, the sound of my father's voice is slowly killing me. I'm going to give that a two also. All right. Um, an introspective retrospective of a prospective genius. That I'm going to give a six, man. Really? Yeah, and pick up the pace because i got to get out of here. Okay, how about this? Thoughts from a bloated boy. Uh, that's a seven. I like it. All right. What's new, Pussycat? been taken uh, big band american style that's my favorite so far i gotta go you keep but you keep going because you're definitely I just onto something. don't think this is going to work out alone i like that one ben that's a keeper daddy abandoned me how about that dr katz i, ha I have an idea that actually might work okay. um could you possibly not actually look at me when i'm talking if you could like face the other way it might be a little easier Okay, I can, for me to open up. Uh, if you think that'll help, I'll do that. Okay. Okay. H how is it going on the romantic front? Are you have you met anyone lately? I know you've been. Well, I, yes, I have been dating other people now. Why are you talking like that? I I don't want you to know it's me. Okay, I'll refer to you as Mr. X if that helps. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, Mr. X. So, Mr. X, how's it how's it going on the on the dating front? See, I think that's your problem, is you have, you, you have to learn how to love yourself. And I think it'll help if you put that thing down. I'm not, I'm not using the thing. I don't know really... I don't know why you feel like you need to use that device to talk to me and why I can't face you and... Um, why you, you, you're very controlling that way. I'm not using the device. Fred, this is the third time you've been late this month, and your your bill is way overdue. Uh, Dr. Katz asked me to speak to you, and, and I think maybe... Oh, please don't have him mad at me. I, I want to help. Can I hand out flyers? No. I, I Yeah, you're right. That's too much paper. Too much paper in the streets. People litter. I won't hand out flyers. How about I'll do some barking? I'll stand out there, and I'll do barking. You know what I mean? See, Dr. Katz, he helps. Well, not me so much because I miss a lot of appointments. And when I am in, I get nervous and it's hard to concentrate on what he's saying. But, but he has lots of patients now that do normal things like have families and work and go out with their buddies and get into shoving matches. See, Dr. Katz, he helps. I don't think that's a good idea, Fred. How about if I just point? That's good. I was in a, on a highway the other day, I was driving, right. and uh, I saw the station wagon, and in the back there were these two kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at them, and he, I don't know why, I just didn't like them. Why didn't you like the kids, Louie? They had that crappy look on their face, just meh. Yeah. I don't know what came over me. Their father was in driving, it was just their dad, and then they're in the back. So I just went, bam, gave him the finger, just like that, whammo! Felt really good. 
And then their father looked, and I stopped, and mm -hmm. then he looked away, and I went, wham, right again. And then their father caught me, and he kind of looked at me like, like, yeah, you know, like, like he was thanking me. And I realized that parents must want to do that to their kids all the time. Yeah. I mean, all, as much as you, the, you could love your kids, when the, your kids go, Mommy, I said you said I could, you never let, they just must want to go, you know what, how do you like that kid, right in your face. Right there, you little... You know what the music means, Louis. Yeah, but... I'm sorry. We gotta stop. <laughs>